Hey folks, thanks for coming back to the channel. This is Level 1 Online, and in this video I'm going to talk about a 16 gigabyte RetroPie version 2. Earlier this year in 2017 in May, I released my first 16 gigabyte, and that particular video is still generating traffic. I'm still getting questions about that particular image, and since that time I've gained a lot more knowledge and I want to apply that I wanted to revisit that image and that's what we have right here so let me just go over some of the basics that particular image it had Nintendo Game Boy Advance Super Nintendo Genesis 32x Neo Geo MAME CPS 1 2 and 3 Turbo Graphics 16 PlayStation Cody some of the uh, additions and adjustments is now it supports all games, the favorites feature, and the last played. Another addition I've made as well is the inclusion of more themes. So all of these themes right here, I went ahead and I tested each one of them to make sure they work and they support all the functions. Just to give you an example, the ones that say updated are the ones that I personally went in there and had to make adjustments to. I'll give you an example, Futura. So this one, for example, has CPS 1, 2, and 3, but it did not support the all games, favorites, and last played. And then there's other themes that would support the favorites, all games, and last played, but would not support CPS 1, 2, and 3. For example, Carbon. Another thing I'd like to point out about the themes, I added this one, Sterling. This is a pretty hefty theme. I had to make a performance adjustment in order to get this to scroll correctly and not get uh, slowed down or hung up. So this is a really gorgeous theme right here. The adjustment I made is right here VRAM limit. I set it to 120 megabytes. And then in retro, in raspy config, I had to make an adjustment to the memory split. You go to advanced options, memory split, you change that to 512. If you decide to do an update, you will have to go in here and manually set that back to 512. Now this particular adjustment, I found this out through a fellow YouTuber. Uh, his name is Mad Little Pixel. So shout out to Mad Little Pixel for updating for, I'm sorry, sharing that information with the community. Thank you so much. So this is my favorite theme right here. This is Showcase. The one thing I'm not a fan of is the last played favorites in all games. I just don't think uh, the artwork that was chosen is very, uh, very appealing. For example, right here we have some artwork of GTA 5. There's no way you can play GTA 5 on a RetroPie. What I recommend doing is this. If you that bothers you and you don't want it you go to game collection settings you go right here and you turn that off something else I'm including in this download is the bezels feature and in order for this to display correctly you're gonna need a 1080p monitor if you're using a 4x3 this image is not gonna work sit tight because you know I, I hear the feedback and I'm gonna work on a 4x3 CRT friendly image for you guys let's go ahead and load up a game and see how this looks
So these bezels were made by Mr. Harais. Shout out to you. I did have to make an adjustment. Uh, there was like a TV sort, like a like a curvature effect, and I'm not really a fan of that. And I had to load up a program called GIMP, and I removed that. So, so far this looks really great. There is a slight scan line filter that I did add. If that bothers you, I do have a video on how to remove that. Next up we have Game Boy Advance. And what I've done with this particular uh, emulator is I have shrunken down the image so it is it, it isn't so blown up on your screen let me go ahead and load up a game just to give you an example While I'm demonstrating this, I do want to mention I have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash level1online. Please make sure to go there, give me a like, and follow. That's where you'll see me post up these images first. In the description, I'll put a link. I'll also put a link to my Pirate Bay page, so you can go ahead and pick up that download there. Next up, we got Super Nintendo. Just want to show off how the bezels look here. Let me exit out of this. Next up we got Genesis. That's how the Genesis bezels look. Thirty two X. This is our Neo Geo. While I'm here, I'm going to show you guys something really quick. I'm going to go to Metal Slug 2. When the game loads up, we're going to hold down the Start button and the A, B, and C button. That's going to bring us up to our dip switch. We go right here to setting up the soft dip, slot one, and this is where you can turn on and off the blood. By default it's off, but I turned it on recently, and that setting stayed. You can also adjust the difficulty and many other settings. Hit exit. And now you'll see that when you shoot them, you're going to get blood. And like I said, by default, it's going to be turned off. So if you got kids, it's going to be water shooting out of them. And by the way, if you do have kids, I cannot guarantee that 
this image is is completely kid friendly there might be some ROMs here and there that I wasn't able to catch so please be aware we have MAME right here I tried my best to filter out all the ones that don't work we got a thousand games in here so for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles there's a, a two player version there's also gonna be a four player version this one right here this is something I added recently this is my own build or I'm sorry my own SD card that I've made adjustments to ever since there's also Turtles in Time there's a two player and a four player I also made sure that X-Men has that and also The Simpsons. There's also a Golden Axe game I was asked about in the on the Facebook page. I made sure that that's included. There is a slight gla uh, graphical glitch, so please be aware. Also, the NBA Jams, I made sure those work. I did make an adjustment to the volume to get that a little bit higher. Ultimate Mortal Kombat should be on here. Also, the wrestling games should work. Moving on, we got our Capcom 1, 2, and 3. There are some vertical shooter games. I was not able, even though I did have the uh, vertical bezel, I honestly, it was it's too, honestly too tedious to go through one by one. I just used one for all the CPS1 games. Let me actually get out of this. Let me show Final Fight. So for all the CPS1 games, it will say CPS1 in the bezel. For CPS2 games, I have it set up so it'll say CPS2 in the bezel. There you have it right there. CPS3 games. They have the CPS3 bezel. Welcome to the world of Turbo Graphics Games. In my first 16 gigabyte image, it was a limited, uh, limited set. I made sure that all the Turbo Graphics 16 games are in here. I also made sure to include Rondo of Blood. This is a Turbo Graphics 16 CD game. Shout outs to Damaso, Brian Damaso from the Mad Little Pixel Forum. I was able to rip uh, this particular ROM off of his image. Saved me a lot of time. Alright, so it's looking real good. Next up we got PlayStation. Some of these uh, games that I have right here, Bloody Roar, Symphony of the Night, EX, these are games I added after the fact. I had to remove some of these games to get it shrunk down so it could be shared and make sure that it fits on your particular SD card. 
once again, about SD cards, I highly recommend using either SanDisk or PNY. Those are the two brands that I picked up from my local Walmart. So this is Mega Man X4. This game looks really gorgeous on the on the Retro Pie. No slowdown whatsoever that I can see. After that, we got Cody. Please keep in mind, I have not gone in here and configured this. This should be up to the latest, the 17.4. You're going to need to hook up a keyboard and then set up your controller when you get this going. That's about it. Let me see if there's another theme I can show off. I really like this one. This is Retro-Rama by Phil's Doodles. Shoutouts to Phil Doodles. This particular theme, I didn't have to make any adjustments to. It accommodated everything. And all the art, it's all very consistent. This is probably one of the best themes out there. Another note, if you find that some box art is missing, when I was zipping this up, when I was finalizing this, the scraper, the internal scraper, which is located right here, you hit the start button, it, it appeared to be down, but I think it's back up now. And if you want to scrape a ROM, you just go right here to Scraper, you hit Scrape Now, and just select Only Missing Images. Just do all your systems, hit Start. Everything on, on what I have now is already fixed up. Let me show off another theme. This is one of the newer themes, this is called Green Alicious. It's using some of the same art from the magazine Madness. This looks really nice. So I'm going to wrap this up. Once again, download links will be in the description. Make sure to follow my Facebook page. I'll leave a donation link as well. Shout out to a few channels out there who have been really helpful. Mad Little Pixel, Drew Talks. ETA Prime, Phil's Doodles, We're Dirty Gaming, uh, Gabber, I'm trying to think who else. That's all I got for now, but there's a bunch out there. And everybody who posts in the forums, I just recently discovered that ETA Prime has a Facebook group, so I went ahead and I, I joined that. I, I found out that Drew Talks has a Facebook page, so I went ahead and I followed that. He's uploading stuff every day, doing all sorts of stuff. Once again, thanks again for stopping by the channel. This is Level 1 Online. You folks take care of yourself. Good night.